Okay, guys, here we are at the Merch by Amazon homepage. Remember, that's merch.amazon.com. And the first thing we have to do is sign in. So I'm going to sign in. Now, I already have an account set up. If you don't, it may look a little different. And I'm just going to use my regular Amazon buyer account. You can create a new account if you want, or you can use an existing Amazon account. It just depends how you want to keep things organized. So after you log in, you're going to come to your dashboard, and it's going to show recent activity. You can see I've sold 32 shirts with my product sales and the royalties, a big $23 in royalties. We're going to break that down. I'm going to show you how different prices affect different shirts. So all the products I have for sale. Some active promotions. We're not going to get into promotions um, because that's not really what this course is about. But we are going to walk through uh, create, promote, manage, analyze, as well as the resources in this video. So here's the dashboard. This is the default when you log in. Now, first thing we're going to look at is create. Now, this is where you're going to start making a shirt. You see it is a very simple process. It's only four steps. And in another video, we're going to make a shirt from scratch. You're simply going to upload your picture here and follow the steps. Now, the promote tab, again, is one that I'm not using. You're likely not going to be using unless you're an app developer. So we're not going to get into the details on this tab. You can certainly come to this tab and poke around if you want. Uh, the manage tab. This is where it's going to show all of the products that you've already made and the actions that you can take on them. Now, over here, I can edit them. So really, only edit... The only option I have is to edit. I'm not going to create a promotion. Now, editing is going to let me change the details or the price. At this point, I can't even delete the shirt. Once it's up, it's up. Um, this is a very new platform from Amazon, so I'm sure they're going to let you delete later if you want to. But right now, all you can do is really edit the price and the details. You come over here to analyze. This is where you're going to see your sales. So as you start selling shirts, this is going to be an exciting place to come to see how much money you're making. It's the same summary that you saw on the dashboard, uh, but down here it'll break them down. Now, I wish it would just break them down when you log in or when you come to this page, but you actually have to go back and you have to set a time frame to see the uh, actual shirts that are selling. So as you have a bunch of designs, you're excited to find out if one has sold, you can go in and take a look. So you can see I've sold a bunch of different designs, not a ton of quantity, uh, on any of them. The biggest one here is this Q4 shirt that I sold 12 and I priced this at $9.99 because I just wanted to sell the shirts. I wasn't trying to make money off it because you see with 12 shirts sold I only made a little over four dollars. Now down here uh, you can see these other shirts. I love pandas, which we priced at $14.95. I only sold two of those, and I've made more than twice as much money as this shirt here that I've sold 12 of. So again, depends what you're trying to do with shirts. If you're trying to make money or if you're trying to just get your brand out there, how you're going to price your shirts. Uh, you'll be able to come in and see the royalties and the units that have sold. So you can track which ones are doing well. Maybe those are the ones you want to promote more. And the ones that aren't doing so well, maybe you just don't mess with them uh, anymore. So it's got a lot of details in here. You can download CSVs if you get a lot of sales and you want to analyze them uh, differently. So those are the main points you're going to see across the top when you log in. Now they also have a resources section. This is a Merch by Amazon overview. They have best practices, royalty cal calculation, content policy, and promotion policy. Now, in the next video, we're going to delve into all of these and get all of the details.